last week that we were working on just, just trying to get all the accessories and everything off of this thing and get it ready to get the engine pulled out. So I stayed up late last night. I got all the electrical, the coolant, pretty much anything I could see. The shift cables, clutch, everything should be good to go. So our next step is to get this cross member out of here. And then from there, drop that motor down, raise the car up, and maybe get this piece of junk out of my garage. So I've got the cross member loose, but if you remember from last week, the people that had the car before me were so smart when they broke the bolts that they actually welded the cross member in. So this is what I'm looking at right now. I've got no bolt here, and I've ground off as much of the weld as I can get with my angle grinder in there. And that's like that on both sides. So now I'm just prying on it, and it's all loose and everything. It wants to come out, but it's just taking a little bit of love. That's one side that broke, just this side now. Well, I think she's about broken. I think the jack's just holding it up now. What are we hung up on? Oh, wires. That's the ABS wire. So these cross members are prone to rust, so this is why you got to take care of your car. Right here is where the motor mount was. You can see that it's completely broken out right here, and the, the sleeve inside is already shifted. And then also where they welded was all rusted out too. Here's the top of the cross member right there was a weld, and you can see it, you can see right through the cross member right there, as well as on this side too. <laughs> That thing runs so good the dog across the street's barking. <laughs> jack stands the motor sitting on a moving dolly now so you can see I just put a 2x4 there under the oil pan and then the other side lines up with the transmission time to knock out the two side motor mounts and then lift the car up and should be good to go went how it's supposed to. Jacked the car up, didn't get snagged on too many things, just rolled it right out the side. There it is, that's a little bit lower. I lowered it down because I wanted to put it on jack stand so it was safe, but that's about as high up as you've got to get this car if you want to be able to roll that motor out on a, on a moving dolly. But it looks like the motor is balanced fairly well on there. Um, just sitting on some wood and the end of the dolly. Overall everything went really well. I only took 
maybe half an hour to get that out once every all the other stuff was disconnected. So that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to let this thing down and uh, probably call it a night tonight. So this is the next evening since we got that um, the motor out. And I ain't going to lie, I am super duper tempted to just rip into that beast and see all the sweet carnage. And see all the broken pistons and all whatever's in there. And all the chunks. But even more so, I want to get this turd out of my garage. I moved my sweet car out here, so as I'm working on it, I can kind of check it out every now and then. Be like, hey girl, I'll see you there. So, yeah. doesn't it look nice right there? I like it. But anyway, that's the plan. Um, carnage video to come, but not tonight. <laughs> pieces out um one thing one of my windows on here on the back has a big old scratch on it so i'm wondering what you guys think are these okay to try and take out or do you end up just breaking them trying and then i figure it's not too much hassle that back window would probably be a good thing to just keep around just in case you never know when you're gonna have a loose wrench or something and, and need a back window I was looking at keeping the windshield, and then right when I went to clean it off with some Windex, I found a big chip in the middle, so then I figured that's not worth keeping. So, got quite a bit of stuff off the front, though. And a little bonus here is that it's got the turbo two-piston calipers. I didn't think they had those on the 91s, so mine doesn't have those, so that's a little upgrade. And then I'll use that hood to replace mine, since mine has this big old dent in it. And then it never hurts to have some extra headlights around and T-tops. And the radiator, I'll probably flush it out and see how it does. Um, throw that in the trailer that way if I'm across the country, autocrossing or whatever, and I blow a radiator, I just have one. Don't have to spend any money. Their awesome wiring and um, repair skills continue. Remember I said the door locks don't work? Check this out. They got wires going just about everywhere on there. And a lot of them going just about nowhere, it looks like. So, good job on them. I don't even know if I'm going to keep that door, because between all that with the wiring over here it looks like it's either got rust or bondo right here probably rust underneath that paint so that probably will just stay on there and go with the car I'm done with it the struts i'm just going to keep because i'd like to try and make some coilovers i've heard of people cutting the spring perches off and just putting the coney inserts in them and, and getting coilover parts off of like summit or jigs and making their own kits so i'll probably keep those just in case i want to do that in the future so pretty good haul i mean the battery's garbage, but you can get like five or ten bucks at a parts store for that. Not too bad. Uh, hopefully the transmission's good, and then it'll all be worth worthwhile, and that stuff will just be extra. So the wife and I both have some sniffles right now. We don't know if it's allergies or if we got a cold. It's the beginning of the school year, so probably have a cold. But so I'm off to the store to go get some cold medicine. So I figured, why not take the MR2, video it, and maybe beat on it a little bit, and have some fun. <laughs>
Mission accomplished. Let's head home. watching this week if you liked it don't forget to hit that like button uh, if you really liked it and you want to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe button also I need a little help from you I've got this junk car here and I'm trying to think of something cool to do with it before we get rid of it so if you have any ideas of something fun that we could do with it um, go ahead and leave it in the comments below if you see a good idea in the comments already go ahead and like those comments so that they get pushed to the top and hopefully we can make a video doing something that you suggest to this car in the next couple weeks.